We don't want to fight for the victory, but we have to fight from the victory. It all started on the day of Moses when God delivered the people of Israel from Egypt. So Israel left Egypt and now Egypt to become the past, their past and promise and become their future. Pharaoh Pharaoh never changed, uh, Pharaoh never chased Israel. And the Bible says God drew them out of Egypt. People of, people of Israel was like, yeah, hallelujah, thank you, God. They was like, the war is finished. Then God said, wait a minute, work is not done. Why God drew them out? Because God knew as long as Israel live in the past, their past, their salary, their slave master, those who trouble them, when they think about all that kind of dark, thick shadows, they'll be like, oh my God, that problem, I cannot imagine. I'm not, I'm not able to sleep. The enemy is taking me to my past. How can I move forward? Here's a problem. So they can never go forward. So do you want to know what God did? God did is whatever past thing troubled you, I'm going to pull it out and drawn it over there. When you think your past is still alive, you will not go forward. God is letting you know that he pulled your past. The day you received Christ, he buried the past and the past never rise again. You will not see that again in your life. In Isaiah chapter 40, uh, 43, 16 verse 17, thus say the Lord, who makes a way in the sea and the path through the mighty waters who bring forth chariot and horse the army and the power they shall lie down together they shall not rise see they shall not rise again they excusingly they are changed like a wick as you and I receive Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior, we are free from sin, but not from flesh. See, most of the Christian people have this problem. They start the journey, but not finishing up. They are not finishing the finish line. When Moses left Egypt, no one said to Moses, Moses, you, Moses, you are going to end with the massive people in the sea. At that time, there was no one. And if Moses was having a Google map, he'll be knowing, yeah, this is it. There is a sea. I cannot go to this path. I need to go this path. He'll be knowing and he can check okay there is no way but there was nothing at that time sometimes it is good just imagine if moses was um having an assistant like gps that we're having today to show the way how we all are going to see that amazing miracle now when moses was standing before the sea some may think like oh god i was not knowing this if anyone crossed this way before i won't bring this massive people this to this in this day wasting time wa wasting hard work a lot of hard work but when moses left the egypt with the people of israel god is watching from the top he know where how to how to make the way how to bring the promised land and god didn't stop him god didn't block him because the people who went before moses god is letting us know that the thing that they suffered the thing that they faced are nothing you have to face this moses and moses went forward not by expecting a promised land but by seeing the promised land over here, God is not teaching us to, to solve a simple small problem, but God is teaching us over here to solve the big problem in our life. The big trouble like the people of Israel was having. Let me say this, if you thinking in this way, I done a mistake by taking a wrong decision for this uh, uh, journey on 2021 I started but I cannot finish this anymore so I'm gonna finish um, I'm gonna quit this in 2022 in this year I'm going to quit everything this is for you then this is for you don't stop keep moving forward your time had not been wasted the works that you have done is not wasted the thing that you have shown is not wasted the people who went before you and they saw the failure then you are going to change that history into as a victory when everyone was seeing the war and death god opened the gate of heaven and john and apostles saw it we we have seen and read about the young david who fought the good fight david did not know goliath is going to come you see when goliath came everyone ran away but david moved forward because david know david saw the open door david didn't run david let us david doesn't see in the goliath but david saw the open door david saw the red sea david saw an opportunity now david said what will be given to the man who wins the goliath 
David saw the open door in the form of giant. My question is, when you see a challenge, do you see it as a challenge or do you see it as the Red Sea or the open door? Now, when now when David moves forward by taking the challenge, what will be happening if David is saying, well, uh, I'm not ready because I'm not prepared. Battle belongs to the Lord was never scripture. Jesus has, Jesus has done everything. We don't want to do anything. This is the number one life of the enemy. You and I is free from free from sin but not from flesh it's like you know you're being lazy that so you you need deliverance be, pre be prepared for a war for the rematch preparation is a such an important thing and david was prepared what he said david said to the philistine you come against me yea though i walk in the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil you are with me with a sword and spear and ja javelin but i come against you in the name of the lord almighty the god of the arm of the israel whom you have defiled this day the lord will hand over to me and i strike you down and cut off your head i will fight you 